It's us, the Crack Brothers. I'm Martin. I'm Chris. And one thing every creature needs to do is protect itself from both weather and predators. Some animals have thick, leathery skin. Some have protective homes and dens. Some animals run fast to protect themselves. Some have spiky spines or stinky spray. But there is one group of creatures with a classic super tough defense, one of the best of nature's defenses of all. This is an Eastern box turtle. It's one of the coolest little turtles in the world. And that's saying a lot because there are over 300 different species of turtle in the world. Turtles have given up speed for protection. They carry that heavy shell on their back, so they can't move very fast. And that shell is the key to their success. It's rock hard and super tough, an incredible defensive shield. And of course, he carries his protection with him wherever he goes. So if something scares him, instant protection. And this baby box turtle is lucky. His shell has hardened. When box turtles hatch out of the eggs, their shells are very soft, and that is when they're most vulnerable to predators. Luckily, he's got his defense kicked in. The box turtle shell is built to withstand incredible force. If you take a look at an old turtle shell like this one, this top part, that's called the carapace. You can see the turtle's spine is actually fused right into the top of the shell. And all these bony plates and ribs in between them add structure to the shell. Now this bottom part, this is called the plastron. And it comes in two parts. This is the bottom part, and it fits right in here. And this part is hinged to it, so it can close whenever the turtle wants it to. And nothing can get inside. Now, there are lots of cool things about box turtles, besides that amazing shell. And one of those is watching a box turtle eat. They eat all kinds of things, worms, grass, mushrooms, and much more. And they really love fruit. All kinds of fruit. And got some fruit for our buddy. Now it's time for a Wild Kratz experiment. Let's see which fruit he likes best. I think he's gonna go for that raspberry. Oh, I am picking strawberry. Look at that sharp beak. That can cut through fruit and worms. It's kind of like a bird's beak. Go, buddy, go. What do you like? Ooh, he's heading towards the watermelon. Wait a second, you're walking right by. No. Oh. So that's what he was hungry for, a worm. Not all science experiments work out like you think. Enjoy. Keep on creature adventuring. We'll see you on the creature trail.